one of the most important things when we're getting started with Salesforce Sales Cloud is being able to determine, you know, what does our pipeline look like in terms of revenue and timing, so forecast, um, and what, you know, what are we selling in a deal? So when we're looking at an opportunity or a deal or however your organization wants to label it in Salesforce, you know, we use opportunities as the common, common term here. Um, we have a field labeled amount. So in the amount field, you see that you can write in a currency value. Now, a lot of times you might want to see your revenue broken up by maybe equipment sales and installation fees and a warranty. Or maybe if you're selling software or a software as a service product, you might have the core software licensing plus add-ons. And uh, one of the common mistakes we see is we actually see individuals or organizations create many fields to handle that type of, of process. So we might have five or six different fields here with labeled warranty revenue, install revenue, whatever it is, and it all, and then they manually write in the total amount. Salesforce actually has a feature built in out of the box to handle that functionality for you. And the way that you do that is by setting up your products, price books, and your opportunity products. So here we'll show you an example of Salesforce out of the box features, the product feature here. So if I click add product, you can see that Salesforce has a lot of these um, widgets already loaded in, I'll add two. I'm gonna add a quantity for each product and I'll hit save. So when I do that, I now have two products added to this opportunity and it already updated the amount. Now, if I need any type of reporting on installation versus equipment, I can get all of those details based on how I input the products into the system and what I depict as product families and so forth. Once you're using opportunity products, you can even have custom rollups or formulas, right? It's a type of formula that gets derived here on the opportunity that shows you those amounts in the UI if you want to see that. So a quick way to run out of uh, kind of scalability or some, you know, have some reporting limitations is by just creating the fields to account for these products rather than setting up the product database. Some other things that you can set up from products are revenue schedules. So uh, if you're selling like a SaaS product that you are invoicing on a monthly, quarterly, uh, or yearly basis, and you're having multi-year agreements, you can set up Salesforce with an out-of-the-box feature to be able to report on that revenue. You also have quantity schedules. So if you are selling a product with a quantity of 50 and you want to deliver those 50 products over a period of time, you can create a schedule for that type of uh, opportunity as well. So. By using this widget here, we're going to open up a lot of flexibility um, and a lot of potential reports that we can get out of Salesforce. Um, we do not want to create custom fields to capture amounts of opportunities in Salesforce.